So when we came up with the mics, I don't know, I just thought it was funny that it was like interview, like it looks like a news reporter. Yeah. And at the same time, well, I'm not wearing a tank, but for you, like you could hold it, just flex the whole time. It's good for thumbnails. <laughs> they don't have to crop me out. I just already like flex. But I, I really like the concept that we have when we're mobile. It's a different scenery every time. Like nobody's ever seen this background for one of our podcasts. That's true. So you're not pulling a mic towards you. Yeah, we would have to find you know a table for it to like stick. Like if we would have like normal podcasts, how they got the mics that you just yeah you don't have to hold it anything. A lot more difficult. Yeah. I like our mobile setup. I like being different. Like it doesn't look like we have an expensive setup, and that's what I like about it. Y'all need to make a layer, not other than like a big layer with a casting couch. And just a casting, casting couch. couch. <laughs> oh, you're, you're been on a like casting dude. couch? No, no. <laughs> you never dabbled in that. It's not gonna mm, surface one day, not right? Not my type. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. He's still ducking it. Okay. Right. We, we, we always talk like for 10 minutes before we intro. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Thinking with a Pump. Where are we gonna pump? And we're able to think more clearly. clearly. <laughs> we just got the pump with our boy Colin here. We're not making him a big special guest this time. He's just hopping on. He's one of the bros now. So he's going to be now? anytime. Huh? Now? Yeah. Now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like we like were friends as we were four. But uh, yeah, no, anytime he could be on a pod, he's just going to hop in, join in conversation. Today we're just going to be Love yapping. It. Yes, sir. But, yes, sir. Um, I wanted to ask you, um, if anybody watches my videos, they've probably seen that Colin's been in crunch, uh, crutches and a knee brace and people been saying you wear the knee brace wrong what's that about that's not true <laughs> i've went to multiple doctors and they have all told me this is how you wear the knee brace and i've worn the knee brace put in the videos it's not wrong you're wrong i would Oof. listen to tiktok comments because they're usually right yeah yeah, yeah 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 a bunch of 14 year olds telling me how to wear a knee brace experts yeah <laughs> experts in the medical field no, yeah it's no, not that, wrong. i love that though because everyone's a critic you know everyone's a pro on TikTok and shit in the comments. Like, they always know better. Oh, yeah. Always know better. Dude, but sometimes they'll catch me, like, they'll say, this isn't that, like, and I'll look it up, and they're completely wrong. And then I'll look in the comments, they're like, no, nah, I'm just talking. They're so confident. They're so, too. yeah. Yeah. Well, it's easy to be with a fake profile pic, some wimpy-ass name. Come out. A little anime, Stop hiding. A little anime picture. Yeah. I've never a little anime wrong. picture. Yeah. I, I don't get any, any arguments. One argument I got in was this girl was trying to, I chugged uh, two scoops of protein and I chugged it, see how fast I could do it. And she was like, this is pointless. You're just a typical blockhead gym bro. You can't digest 50 grams of protein. He, she heard and it, she was, she, she was so dead set that you're not able to digest 50 grams of protein. And she went back and forth. She was like, uh, my, my, what was it? My personal trainer at my gym, who has an award for being the best personal trainer, literally told me that. False. I was I like, like well, she should get... She should just stop what she's doing because she's stupid. I was in the car with you, actually. Were you? <laughs> yeah. I was talking about we that? just worked out, and you're like, dude, check this out. <laughs> he was in a battle. He was, some... Dude, he was pissed. Yeah. He was, you could tell shout it out this that, day. Shout out that girl. Or it was like a anyone. Fairlife shake. She's like, you can't digest 42 grams of protein in one sitting. It was like, stupid. what? Is, so what's the what's the is that true? Like, how much could you know. really digest in one sitting? Because I've heard the same rumors, like, oh, you can only digest. Uh, 40 like total or 30 I don't think there's whatever a set it was. Number. I, th- I, I think, think it's a time frame where your body's able to digest the protein and anabolic window it gets put holding holding we're gonna get him what's so if you eat 50 grams of protein in one sitting how does that digest i mean you shouldn't have any problem with digesting 50 grams of protein and it's all about daily intake so as long as you're getting one gram per pound of body weight you're Practically perfectly fine, and especially on a cut, you need a little bit more. So, the people that say you you could you could only digest thirty grams of protein in like an hour, where does that other twenty grams go? It's false. They've done studies that have shown that that's not true. It's a myth. Thank you. Yeah. I just needed someone no, to back me up, so I'm not talking shit. But yeah. if you think about it, so let's just say thirty grams is the most you could digest, right? The other twenty grams, like say you're eating fifty grams at a time, that gets thrown out the window. Yeah. No. Somebody who is 260, Bradley Martin. Okay. Colin born. 260. You Bradley know how many Martin. meals? He would have to eat 10 meals, over 10 meals a day to get his, you know, to meet and his space body. space it out every hour. Exactly. He yeah, would, he would have to, to time it. it perfect. That's a good way to put it. It yeah. doesn't make sense. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense. Anyway. I think I it's to... body type too, preference. Uh, each body type has a different <laughs> I'm sure way is. of digesting yeah. food. I mean, yeah, dude. You can't expect No one's the same. That's... Yeah. You can't expect Are you telling me I can only eat 2,000 calories a day? Dude, I weigh 235. That yeah. makes sense. I'm going to yeah. die. 
that's my breakfast, man. <laughs> yeah, that's my <laughs> breakfast. That's my pre-workout. Yeah, facts. Any hoot, we got a new location. We, watch that. Is that loud? <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> messing <laughs> We're in a new location. We're in a new location every time. But today we are in the great old state of Louisiana. Yes, sir. Luke's first time. Luke, tell him. So he, he only got here last night. But what do you think so far? I mean, I flew in, United. You know, I was expecting to land at like a small airport. Just assuming that like there's – I knew it was New Orleans airport. So like that's a big like – that's big a hot city. spot, yeah, right? Yeah. So it kind of made sense. But like prior to that, I wasn't really thinking. I wasn't really thinking like that. I was like, all right, it's Louisiana. It's probably going to be a tiny little airport because like – I don't know. It's not like a single landing. It's not like you're landing in the city, but I guess, yeah, Louisiana is a city, but in my head, I wasn't imagining that. So we end up pulling, I end up pulling up to the gate, you know, and I, I walk out and I'm like, Oh shit. Like this is a nice airport. Big. You got the, the cops on these tri scooters things. Like yeah. No, yeah, pretty fancy. You know, the bathrooms are nice. A the, bunch of Paul Blarts. <laughs> yeah. A bunch of Paul Blarts. 100%. Paul Blart. Um, which I thought was cool. I mean, security is good. You want to yeah. feel safe. Um, massive airport. I mean, I don't know about massive, but like that big where I end up meeting up with you, the like yeah, lobby the area, plane, baggage baggage plane, plane, that was a nice room. little aesthetic. No, you're not, to you're it. not and just then, landing in a cane field. It's, dude, it's an airport. Yeah, it's yeah funny. right? No, I thought I was going to land and like get out of the plane through the stairs. And, yeah, yeah, dude, I've done that once. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here? In, no, in uh, uh, Utah. Okay. Yeah, a small airport. Yep, Anywho, yep. But um, yeah, so... It's funny because if you look out the window right here, we're in my apartment, by the way, me and Colin's apartment. Colin's moving out, by the way. Says who? Let's bring that up. Why? Because you know what it is? I motivate you too much. That's what you're scared it's of. Not you're true. scared of motivation. I'm not scared of motivation. You're scared of motivation. So you hear that? Colin's never videoing with wow. us again and he's moving out. That's what, what he said. Put me on the 24 7 payroll and I'll stay with you. Fair Ooh. enough. <laughs> Now I gotta make a move. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the pressure is put on. The pressure's on. But if you look out right here, that's like super Louisiana, Caneville. Just yeah, Caneville. just a bunch of like yeah. long grass. Yeah. My, my balcony. <laughs> if you look uh, outside my balcony, is just straight Canefield, and that's feels like, a sugar cane. Yeah, I mean, it, you go anywhere in Louisiana, you're probably gonna see that. But we haven't really showed them any of the good spots because you haven't seen much swamp, right? No, nah, I haven't seen any swamp. I'm really just getting, like I said, this in the between the sets. I mean, just, it's given Florida, you know, like maybe it's not Miami, but like weather wise, weather wise, climate, the, the hot, palm humid. trees, hot, hot and humid, pretty flat, right? Like it's not like mountainous, no, hill. no like hills, that. no hills. Um, so it's nice here. It's definitely not like, like so I, I was thinking, I was thinking of what can we do to like show them the experience. Um, I'm trying to find, we're, we're going to go find crawfish first yeah. off. We out of have, season, but we will find it. It is yeah. out of season. They but, have reserves. Yeah. I mean, we could find it somewhere. If not, we'll go catch it. That'd be oh, a sick shit. Video. That would, that would be, be sick. fun. That would we'll be go behind our house, so, put some traps out. I gotta. He's gotta try crawfish. He's gotta see an alligator. I do want to see an alligator. He's eating an alligator. Nah. He's eating alligator he last ate, night. I did try yep. it for the first time last night. How was it? It was good. It tastes a lot like chicken. Yeah, it's white I mean, meat. Chicken, right? porky. It's just same another consistency. Meat. Honestly, if you eat really anything and nobody tells you what it is, it's probably gonna be good because it's meat. Yeah. It tastes like you chicken. Know. I agree. Meat's good. The vegans are sweating right now. Pita's what? coming at you. Another thing. We got to... What was the other thing? Oh, we're going to New Orleans. Yes, sir. I feel like when you come to Louisiana, if there's one spot you got to check out, it's New Orleans. Now, if you want to come at the best time there is, you got to come during Mardi Gras. It's, it's a different world. Come in February. Oof. It's just like mobbed here. Oh, oh yeah. Man, do people go crazy. There's, so, crazy. there's two things people go crazy for here. It's sports because our sports teams go down yeah. or they're wild. So if you go to LSU game or you go to a Saints game, people they they love their football. Yeah, put it that way. That's all we have, right? Oh, even baseball though. Like LSU, yeah. dude, they just go hard for anything. We need an MLB team, but that would be dope. Yeah, be it's dope. sports and Morty Girl. So next year we're gonna have you out for February, and we're taking you. So, um, so. Uh, and bleep that. I don't want people to know in my hometown. <laughs> I was about to say. Yeah. Um, so anyway, over here, Mardi Gras still goes crazy. Like, so it's, it's so it's just like a holiday here. It's not yeah. like in a specific spot. It's an actual oh, holiday. It's, it's a, I thought Mardi Gras was like it's in like a, a two spot. week holiday, two week yeah. long holiday. Just so it, it just get, everywhere is just popping. Yeah, like we get off of school for Mardi Gras. Yeah, like a whole week. When, we have a whole week off. Back of when we were in high school, we got a whole week off for Mardi Gras. It's it lands what, on a Tuesday. But what week is that? Like, um, I think it has to do with like Lent, 
like a Catholic religion. Like okay. there's a certain day in February. Sometimes is it ever early March? Damn, Never, bro. I, don't I think know, sometimes, sometimes it maybe. It depends. But it's like a two week period to where it's just parades, drinking, eating, having a good time. Damn. It's fire. Yeah, it's fire. Shit goes down. Yeah. And so... What kind of shit goes down? I want to know. Ooh. Give me some details, man. Like, no. give me it's just like... It's, it's unhinged, right? So it's like... There's still police there, don't get me wrong. But it's yeah. like... They know what time of the year it is. And it's like a little bit more relaxed. So you just see a shit ton of people walking the streets getting hammered. Just like drinking. It's a thing in Louisiana yeah. too. Like, even if it's not Mardi Gras season... I know other states aren't allowed to do it, but like you could just walk on the side of the street with a beer. It's like Vegas. I don't think you could do that over there. Like no, where there's really not a lot of spots where you yeah, can like, just walk around freely with th- a drink. There's a lot more meaning to Morty. There's a lot more meaning yeah. to Morty Girl, but for like Louisiana, it's basically you know what a parade is. Yeah, I know what a parade is. Okay, I mean, uh, come, you on. Ask. come on, I gotta ask. <laughs> yeah, okay? yeah, you're not the only ones with parades, buddy. So, anyway, we have <laughs> yeah. the parades, right? It's an all-day affair, which the parade itself is probably maybe an hour, and then there's just a bunch of floats. Everybody's hammered on the floats, and they're just yes. throwing beads, footballs, everything. And dude, it's just a wild time. It's like aggressive, you think? Oh yeah. It's like an aggressive oh, turn up. Aggressive. It's not just like a mellow, like no. obviously, like I didn't I never would have expected that. I thought no. it was I thought it was wild. I thought it would be wild. Nothing, no. You'll catch anything from beads to ramen noodle bags. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ramen noodle so bags. From some, I've seen that's someone throw a whole bag of ice on someone. That's that's so smart too, because ramen noodle is so cheap. It's cheaper yeah. than beads for sure. Yeah. You mean, I wrote in Moon the parade. Pies? I wrote in the parade, and you came uh, with me to get beads, and mm-hmm. they're, they're expensive, man. Hell yeah! So you gotta you gotta go to parade, pick up your own beads. I have a picture on our phone, my phone of me and you. We caught a whole ba- uh, box of moon pies. Dude, they threw a head of cabbage at me. It was lettuce. Lettuce. Oof. Whatever. <laughs> Not Fucking nerd. <laughs> no, no, they were throwing yeah. they were throwing vegetables, everything. Anyway, Whatever they could get their hands on, yeah. they'll throw. Just kept spawning more stuff. Yeah. <laughs> they never run out. Yeah. But uh, yeah, guys, um, Louisiana, if you ever want to check it out, come during February, during Morty Girl time. It's insane. And if you really want to be in the like the hot spot, I would say it's definitely New Orleans. New Orleans. And speaking of New Orleans, that's what I, w- I was trying to get into. Um, we're gonna take him to Bourbon Street. He's gotta see Bourbon Street. Famous Night Bourbon Life. Street. Nightlife. Hell so, yeah. um, what is it like? You know, nightclubs and oh, bars, it's bars like clubs, anything you can imagine. Homeless sh- people yeah. offering you crack, dude. They got everything. Oh, crack? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you shit. dabble in the What's crack game. Dabble in the crack game. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> have to be no, crack. no. They have more than crack. Maybe back in the day. <laughs> way more back than crack. In the day. No, that's back crazy. in the day. Oh, I'm way past that. <laughs> but Moved um, on. yeah, man. Um, there, there, there's just so many options. Like, there's. You're not limited to anything. So I just want to give, give you the experience. I don't know if it's going to be packed. I mean, there's nothing going on. There's no big event, nothing yeah, I mean, like that. But at well, the same time, New Orleans, there's it's always something interesting that's going to happen. So yeah. I just, like how you wanted to show me, was it? New York, uh, Atlantic City? Atlantic City. Yeah, Atlantic City. Yeah, I think it's similar in a sense. Like, so, Dude, that's similar. No, 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 yeah, yeah. not similar. Like for us, like this is something we have to show you when you're in right. Jersey. So one of your friends, um, when we stayed at it was the LBI, mm-hmm. they said they visited and it was like a little ratchet, but it was a super fun time. Yeah, that's kind of the vibes you get. It's like a little dirty, but at the same time, super fun. No, it's definitely fun. Yeah, I mean, Burby you can only have down. so much fun while staying clean, you know? Mm-hmm. And then if you want to have more fun, then that's where, like, it starts to get a little ratchet, a little dirty. Guess but, hey, like, you have to, you know, sacrifice, bro. I've always Jersey Shore. It's kind of that. Yeah, kind of like yeah, that. yeah, Jersey Shore's raunchy, bro. Yeah, you know? no, it's raunchy. Yeah. yeah. No, it's ratchet, whatever whatever terms yeah. you guys use, whatever you know, kids are talking. dirty in the South. Yeah. Especially yeah. on a weekend. Mm-hmm. You could have a good time. Yeah, no, that's cool because I'm like the ultimate Jersey gym bro. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like seeing like you guys from Louisiana, your guys' culture, like I'm intrigued. It's kind of similar. Interested. I mean, from what I've seen. On I know, Jersey but for Shore. me, it's different. Like, I no, don't know. yeah, it's no, just, for like, sure. not Jersey. Like here. when we went visit Jersey, I had a great time. Yeah. It was fun. But it was definitely different though, right? Def- different. Yeah, the for people. Sure. For, yeah. Yeah, you think? Well, people anywhere, you know, they'll be different. I mean... Not, we the, got, not we the got most polite ple- people in Jersey, that's for sure. Neither you know. New Orleans sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Was, most of the time, most of the people are wholesome. Yeah. When, when it, so New Orleans is like, yeah, it's like a lot of places, right? You go to certain spots, it's going to be a bad area. It's probably an area you don't want to be in. Yeah, yeah of course, it's anywhere, though. 
I think what well, we got like it's top five of the murder capital of the world. It's number one murder capital of is it? America. We're number one. Number one. Louisiana, baby. New Orleans murder number capital one. per area. Number one. Number one. We love America. to secede around here. <laughs> you wait. You're number one. What? Murder capital per. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's like City that. per capita. Like that. I don't know if I want to go, New man. I don't want to be a part of the statistic. Urban <laughs> itself is, I don't want to say safe, because it's not safe. It's fairly safe compared to other parts of New Orleans, but, I mean, they got, they got shit go down. From what I hear, no, nothing really happens. Bur- uh, like, Bourbon Street, the French Quarter, stuff like that. It's when you get to, like, this. Cer- it's like anywhere. Man. Yeah, you, you go, go down to the, the wrong, wrong block. Spot, don't venture around. off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> Every, I think every state probably has a spot like that. Like, you go to the wrong ports, yeah. you're in trouble. Yeah. Or, like. You know, it's not the best spot to be in. Uh, same thing with New Orleans. But other than that, the architecture the architecture is beautiful. Uh, the food is amazing. So yes. I need to show you some authentic Creole food. Uh, I don't really know many spots in New Orleans, but we're going to find something. You find Oops. a little hole in the wall anywhere. Right. Etouffee, gumbo. Oh. Bleep what? that out. That was, that was <laughs> me and Colin's, like, yeah. childhood restaurant. Because so we're from a very small town, and we have zero gas stations, zero grocery stores, one restaurant. No shit. And that's the restaurant. It's right by our house. It's we- next door to me and Brody's house. The food is amazing. You like fried chicken? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Who doesn't like fried chicken? Dude. I'm yeah. about to blow your mind. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I, I was like, dude, um, he wanted to see an alligator. I was like, it, we, we were going to go eat um, at Walk-On, so we were like, eh, we're not going to do that. But I was going to like, I'm going to take you to the boat launch. We're probably going to see an alligator. It's like, the hell's a boat launch? They're used to keep, yeah. they keep their boats in the water and dock it. Really? Well, we yeah. oh, a lot yeah, of people in Jersey Shore, like, if you have a house, you have your own, like, dock, and you can dock your boat. I mean, I think, you know, at the end of the summer, I think most people take their boat out, you yeah. know? They don't just leave it in all through well, the they winter. They have those big but, $100,000 boats that they just yeah, stay yeah. in the water. I, I remember... In the water. Some of them get lifted. and like, yeah. like I've seen some get lifted. It's probably more expensive than just le- letting oh, yeah. it float. A boat lift. The yeah, boat lift where it just sits up in the air. Um, but it depends on how much bread you got. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's seriously. Everything. I mean, to have a boat and then have a beach house in Jersey, like you got to have some good money. Yeah. Like, you're making a pretty good living. What cracked me up, as soon as we landed, he goes, bro, can I shoot guns here? Oh, I was like, no. already Can on you it. shoot guns here? I know. Actually, they just... <laughs> when I, and when I said that, I just meant, like, not in a range. Like, is it... This is, like, you can go in a backyard and, like, let oh, off yeah, a pistol. Oh, yeah, for like, sure. And, like, uh, yeah, because uh, Holden texted me before. He's like, dude, would you want to shoot guns? Like, I got a friend that has all these guns. So I was like, dude, that's perfect. We got to show him. Because, I mean, I, I, got my, I got my Glock. I got my, like, shotgun for hunting and stuff like that. Yeah. But we need something a little heavy duty. Did you yeah. say AOR? Couple ARs. Yeah, I'm sure you AOR. Bring my yeah, pistol. Yeah, no, I want to. I want to shoot. Some. I've never shot a gun in my entire life. Really? It's never. funny. It's funny I'm about because to pop um, that chair. I don't believe so. I would have remembered that. Yeah. I think. So we're, like, we're. I mean, we're not. Don't don't get don't get us wrong. We're not big gun people. All right. But at the same time, Louisiana is a little different than Jersey. So big different. I have my concealed carry permit. So you know. Fun fact: you don't need a concealed carry permit anymore as of July fourth. Yes. Louisiana is a closed carry state. So you can conceal a gun and you don't need a permit. So I can go buy one right now. That, you can't. You I have can't to be in a jersey license. Yeah, yeah, okay, correct. That makes sense. I if you're a Louisiana resident, you buy a pistol. You don't need a concealed carry permit. Just I think that's closer. insane. I, it I'm is not, crazy. I'm not upset about it because crazy. I don't have to renew my permit now. But at the same time, like it was, you had to go through a process to get Yeah, that, you got to like do a whole class. Check shit. Yeah. Background check. Class. Anyway, you got to so, get your fingerprints. Texas is the same way, correct? Texas is the same way. Okay, so when we went to Texas, we had that Houston trip. I think this was our second trip together. I remember that. I, I, brought, I brought my pistol because uh, I just always have it in my core. And then I brought it inside for protection. And Luke seen it. And he was, like, amazed by it. I was like, is this not Have normal? you opened my drawer next to my bed yet? No, I didn't, sit, I didn't, I didn't snoop, bro. <laughs> that would have been fun. for a rude awakening. I would have been like... <laughs> Dude, like when Dude, you inspect a gun, it's, like, it's a hand I'm cannon. Like, yeah. It's a hand cannon. Oh, it's like, big. Bang. It's big. Bang, bang uh, your dad. I'll show you after. Yeah, I'm not gonna put nah, it on I want to see it. Yeah, don't show it on camera. No. You monetize all around the board. Yeah. We're, not, we're not big gun people, all right? No. We just. I'm yeah. definitely not. I've we, never owned a gun in my entire life. My whole entire family has, yeah. it, but we've always been in Jersey. Yeah. And like, it's really just. 
Protection, man. That's protection. all it is. Protection. That's, that's what I thought. Like when you guys, when I heard you guys had it on you at, on the trip, and yeah. knowing Texas laws and Texas is like, you know, you can have guns or whatever. Same deal. I was like, oh shit! Like I feel yeah. safe. Like I was like, oh, that's lit. Because like I felt lit. safer. Yeah. No, it is. Because I trust you guys, obviously. But and I've then never I was like if shit were to ever hit the fan, like you guys have. I've never used it for protection. It's always been for me for hunting. Yeah. Like deer, or duck anything I but i ended up getting a pistol for protection but yeah i'm paranoid i don't trust anyone i always think like, yeah i no, always sketch like you hear stories left and right all the time going viral like all oh, this happened shooting whatever and i'm just like yo bro like i don't trust nobody no you can't like, and I, I think i don't know it's like 50 50 louisiana passing that legislation like okay so the criminals are gonna carry guns or are they gonna be scared to rob people because anyone can carry guns now so it's like yeah. It's hit or miss. Yeah. We'll see in a, a so, year from now what kind of. So like really like anybody, anybody, the, anybody, anybody. Just if you're gun. able to purchase a pistol, you can conceal carry it, and all conceal is. Louisiana was an open carry state mm-hmm. before this legislation. You could put it in a holster, but it had to be visible. Now you can put your shirt over it, conceal it, and it's completely legal. Wow. If you wanted a conceal carry license, like Brody and me had, you have to go through a class fingerprints at the department and you'd have to renew it every five years and yeah. then they still had a background check Shit. but now anyone could carry a pistol covering it up concealing it and i don't know how that's i mean so as a know. as a gun owner you have it like it, like you have it on you right oh yeah um, i keep it in my truck you keep usually. it in the truck you ever yeah. walk out walk I, around with it i don't walk around with mine because it's too big yeah <laughs> <laughs> i need to get a smaller one to yeah. carry it but the only thing with that law is like you can't bring it into a bar obviously right. any, yeah, any, yeah, you can't be you can't drinking drink. you no, can't no, drink no, no, no. that makes sense yeah, I, yeah. I'll be 100% honest I've never carried it on me besides yeah. one time when I went to New Orleans by myself why'd yeah. you go by yourself let's give us the story man yeah what, what you doing in New Orleans yeah. by yourself dog give us a good story bro yeah you meeting up with chick what's up <laughs> I'm trying to yeah. think he's trying to think of how to word it no he's trying to th- <laughs> yeah what you doing in New Orleans <clears throat> Pass. <laughs> Pass. I was in New Orleans by myself. Put it okay. that way. Okay. And you had that shit strap? Yeah. In your front? Or in like a holster? No no intentions to use it at all, but just there. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, dude, listen. If, 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 if it's the law and it's free to roam with one, yeah. I would hold one too, bro. Yeah. Like, you don't want to be the one without one when Correct. you need it. And I just rather have it for safety. It reminds That's me of the story. I don't blame anybody for that. Same. Go ahead. World of T-shirts. Y'all know on TikTok, World of Teachers, Josh, Josh Block. Yeah. Came visit Nola a couple months ago. Got robbed instantly. First day got robbed. <laughs> Dude, it's hilarious. So uh, Wait, you guys you guys said you, that in like straight. World of like, T-shirts. Yeah. I was I was I showed you him because we were in New York. I was like, "Dude, please let's we have run to into this him. guy." We should have did his tour. So, World of T-shirts. Yes, yes, dog. Dude, I was going to bring him yes. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. World of T-shirts, if you don't know, he just drinks excessive amount ex- of excessively. Alcohol. That's all he does. That's his content. Yeah. Well, he went. I, he was the kid that went viral for uh, singing. Um, it was. It was. Yeah. Um, Empire, Empire State. Yeah, Empire, Empire State, State in New York yeah. and just screeching. You know, yeah, this, and that was before he was twenty one, so he, he used drink. to do like coffee yeah. reviews. Though. He was yeah. a very wholesome kid, and like yeah. alcohol just he got poisoned. I, I believe every day. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not, I mean, I'm I not gonna it. speak on what he has, but yeah. I think he has some sort of special needs. Maybe he doesn't, but I'm not gonna speak on that. Anyway, he got into alcohol. When he turned 21, or I don't know how very old he is. It's been an everyday thing. And that's all he does. He takes videos all day of him drinking, and it's just, you could, you could tell, man, he's going to he's going downhill, Spiraling. man. Spiraling. Yeah, but he travels the world, and one of his destinations was New Orleans. Yes. He said, so he made a video that said, I'm going to be in New Orleans in three days. And Colin sent that to me. He said he's going to get robbed. First night, got robbed. Took yeah. a video. Yeah. They I mean, just, you- Held him up at gunpoint, took all his money, his oh, phone. There was a video of it? No, he videoed himself. He had to go buy a new phone. Like, uh, after he got robbed, they took everything from him. He was just walking the street. Yeah. But it's like, that's New Orleans yeah. sometimes. I guarantee well, you. I mean, he wandered off. He's not with a friend. He's not He's by group. himself. Yeah, he doesn't that, know where to go. He don't know where he's at. I guarantee that's you he's not in just a bad New Orleans, spot. Like, no, that I can know. happen anywhere, anywhere. in Florida. You can, ha- you can walk anywhere in Texas, New Jersey. It's correct. Like, it, it, you walk down the wrong block, bro, yeah. and you don't know where you are, and you're just by yourself, singled out. Yeah. Yeah. People out there are sick, man. I They're gonna get you. I guarantee you, it wasn't on Bourbon Street. No, no. I There's, doubt it was on Bourbon so, Street. Bourbon Street's so packed that like you can't. That's why it's safe. There's so There's many people. There too. There's so many police there that like Bourbon Street itself is a little dirty, but it's safe. Right. But 
You go so in, is New York. You go in New the York's dirty. You know, outskirts like, of New Orleans, the little mm-hmm. inner cities, and don't wander off without people. Yeah. Like, stay in packs. I mean, that's You'll just be in safe. general now. That's anything. Though, that's like, anywhere. Yeah. There's always out people out there to get you. Yeah. So. No matter what packs. state it guy is. Guy or girl, bro. Especially if, you're, especially if you're a female. Always group up. I always tell, I always yeah. tell my girlfriend, hey, listen, like, you're in a new place. But I'm the same way as a guy, bro. I don't want to be walking by myself. Exactly. I'd rather be in a pack. Because people... Right. Always, yeah. I don't know. Like I said, paranoid man. I don't. I don't trust nobody. You shouldn't. I don't want to be no. one of those horror stories. It's a yeah. sad world that you have to say that. Mm-hmm. But it is. But it is what it is. Just be smart too. Yeah. Be aware. Be good. Kind of want to change a little topic here because we've been on it for. We're, I feel like we, I'm so excited that Luke's in Louisiana. We talked about Louisiana. I know. For yeah, like but that's good minutes. though because I'm in Louisiana for the first time. I just flew in last night. Um, so we're talking about Louisiana type shit. You know what I mean? Like, you know. Guns, hometown. Mardi Gras, hometown, yeah. the field out in Cane Brody's field. balcony, the cane field, yeah. So it was all good. So but we could switch. We could start the road. We could start start switching topics. Anyways, we're gonna take them to Bourbon Street, and we're gonna keep y'all updated. So I'm sure on the future podcast, we're gonna have a story about Bourbon Street. We're there gonna have will, at least there will one, be one story. story, right? Either a fight breaks out or someone something happens. Yeah, something's gonna happen. But just a random question. Kind of want to ask y'all. We talk about cheat meals a good bit on here. Just want to say, so if you're I like food. on death row tomorrow, what's your go-to meal? Death row tomorrow, go-to meal. The crumble cookie lineup of the week. Okay. Because there's always two or three out of the six that I very much enjoy. We got crumble cookie two days ago. I ate all four in one night. Or, no, two nights. But uh, for my actual main course, dude, I'd have to say fried chicken from that restaurant in our hometown really yeah just four pieces of dark meat tear that up <laughs> yeah. Yo, bro made that sex show like, dude, I'm yeah that i'm drooling up. yeah you are dude. <laughs> yeah. you see the little drool come down my face all uh, right so what's the full thing some 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 fried chicken some crumble fried cookie. chicken crumble cookie and their french fries you could get them gravy and cheese on them okay. i don't know if you knew that Ooh, i did yeah the gravy man. and cheese on the fries with fried chicken or crumble cookie, and I'll die happy, man. Shit, man. I would need a little bit of everything. I would need a little bit of everything, right? Because oh, yeah. you get the pick. That's true. Yeah, you, you get could the pick. get anything you I want. think I would order, like, a little bit of everything. I think I would get, like, a lobster tail, New York strip, Smart. meat and rare, fancy as it gets. Definitely need that. <laughs> um, it's not as fancy as it gets. I would do crumble. No, not as fancy as New York strip's not the fancy as it gets. I'm saying New York strip, the fancy as that gets. Medium rare. Don't interrupt me next time. <laughs> <laughs> He's um, clapping back. Crumble cookie is a good idea. I'm I just want that. I just want chocolate chip though. Just really? Chocolate. Yeah, I'm a plain guy. So, so plain. Me I'm and so boring. Me and bro. The same. I really am. Yeah, what else? French toast. 100. <laughs> percent Always. <laughs> French toast. Dude, when we went visit him. French toast was like. That's gotta get it every French single toast. Meal. Yeah, no. Every before breakfast. I started to like cut, I haven't so honestly good. really dabbled in French toast too much since then. But French toast would have to be on that menu. Fried yeah. chicken would be there. Um, definitely some Italian food. Um, maybe some chicken parm. Fat pizza pie. Pizza. I need some pizza. Uh, Jersey pizza. Hundred. He's gonna die P. from a food coma before he gets injected. Right. I'd rather <laughs> die that way. <laughs> That's good. Like imagine you got that. You beat the system. Yeah. You, so, okay. Wait. Not, you just die because you just, you just overeat. You overeat. You're like shit. What's your dessert? Is it the crumble? Oh Ooh, yeah. Dessert. So low key, I never eat this anymore, and I've talked about this somewhere. So like, I feel like maybe on the pod, but I don't know. My friend growing up, uh, my neighbor that lived down the cul-de-sac where I grew up in New Jersey, his mom cooked or baked the best banana cream pie and coconut cream pie, separate times, but both times never had it prior before, and they were like the best, best thing I've ever had in my entire life, bro. Dessert wise, like it just. Sounds amazing. No, it was so good. Homemade. Homemade. I went back to their house, knocked on the door to hang out, and like, I would also be like, yo, do you have any left over? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yo, it was good. that good. And I honestly never went out and got my own ever after really? that. Like, I was like, I think it was only this specific. Can't beat it. That Can't one. beat it. And I never wanted to disappoint myself, too. Like, I've seen it on the menu of, like, restaurants, and, like, you can obviously buy pies anywhere, like, any Walmart, freezer, not um, as good as a funny, but I was like, I don't even want to ruin it. Like, I just, whatever I experienced that one day, since then, 
20 years later. Like, yeah. You. yeah, no, seriously. I've never had a coconut cream pie. She would have to make it. But I Corley. always wanted to because of the episode of iCorley. I Corley. <laughs> they go through like 30 different yes. coconut cream pies to find their right recipe. See? See? So the same shit happened to them. I didn't want to fall into that rabbit hole <laughs> trying different pies and never getting that same like experience. <laughs> but, so I so, really... Uh, I'd, for, have to for, add, I'd have to add a dessert. Chili's lava cake. Ah, right, that's Ooh, good. Chili's lava cake. Dude, that's good. for a video. Chili's, yeah. <laughs> I was like, bros banned from thirty-two locations. Did you know that? Make it thirty. That's great. Crazy. How? Wait, why? And is that real? He's beefing with Cassandra, the waitress, about the queso. It wasn't even that big of a deal, but bro bought it. She brought it, it to the next she level. She made it a big deal. Oh, so you just like so? There's thirty-two locations in Louisiana, and he's banned from all of them. I'm so, I don't know is that dead ass? Yeah. Besides the Holy airport, shit, that's besides the airport fuck. one, that is so awesome if that's real. Besides the one from the airport, because it's brand new and they don't know about them. They have my yeah. face like, <laughs> in like the you system? know, you know where the the people Damn. go to wait you and like they have a desk right in the front. There's like my face and a couple other people. Just do bang. not enter. Wow. Do not allow that's, in the location. That's insane, man. I don't want to go too deep into it. Yeah, yeah, you should. Shit happens. Legal issues. Those one dollar yeah. margaritas. Yeah. No. No. Over, yeah. He drank, <laughs> he drank 12. Yeah, he drank 12. Okay. It's $12. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, right? So, my death row meal. Yes. Probably like two things would come from my dad at least. Oh. So, sorry he had to cook for Fair my death, but it would be um, his uh, seafood sauce piquant. Uh, uh, seafood gumbo, sorry. Dude, I've Not had your dad's piquant. seafood gumbo. Seafood That's gumbo. worth dying for. Seafood gumbo, and then... You had a good point. I'd probably do like some sur- sort of sur- surf and turf, but it would be the most expensive Wagyu beef you could find. A5. A5. A5 Wagyu beef. 500 a pound. I just want the best steak in my mouth possible. Okay. And I'm going to be like, dude, give me 20 ounces. You know? <laughs> they can't tell me no. It's they my can't. last meal. Yeah. Tw- like 20 ounces of Put it. The bank, bank. A lobster up. tail. I want boiled crawfish. I would mm. make my dad make that as well. Yeah. Um, and then I'd probably get greasy with it. This is probably a bold take, but Wingstop. I just want a couple wings. Dude, we were talking about Wingstop earlier. Yeah, I, can't I just want a couple that. Wingstop wings. I fucking love their boneless wings. It's so. your final meal, man. Have as many flavors as you want, man. Thank you. That's why I was five of for. each and eat one of each. I would throw yeah. in some uh, McDonald's fries. Something about their Ooh, fries. Egg McMuffin would be in, ma- in there for me. Sausage McMuffin with egg. Sorry. And then... Honestly, that would probably fill me up, but I would probably throw in just some other trash fast food stuff that's going to make me feel good for this, uh, for a couple moments. And then dessert-wise, you got me there. Uh, Chili's lava cake, man. Yeah. I, I would also double it with a Chili's uh, skillet cookie. The skillet cookies so yeah. far. So good. But yeah, that would probably be mine. What would Can't you go to jail for? Else. What I would go to jail for? <laughs> What I would go to jail for. Ah, that's good. So many things. It's good. A lot of illegal things out there. What's the fa- what's my favorite? <laughs> what's his favorite illegal activity? Yeah. Dude, I couldn't tell you. Like, well, if I had to pick one reason to go to jail, I would probably rob a bank. Damn, that was my answer. <laughs> just to see if I could get away with it. Because I would plan this shit out. I wouldn't just go up there. You know what I'm saying? Money heist. Yeah. You, you, it's cra- it's, fun, it's I think it's almost man. impossible these days because like the amount of cameras and shit, cameras face, uh, facial recognition and everything. Yeah. Yeah, you know. I'd find a way to practice on GTA Five. I'd find a way and to do it. The 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 police chase would be insane. Oh yeah. I would have you know like if I know I'm going to rob a bank, I'd probably get arrested. I would buy or probably rent because why would I buy it? I'd probably rent the most souped out core possible as a getaway core. And I'd whip that bitch myself. Yeah. Go on that most epic police chase possible. You know, I, I would go out with a bang. Couple yeah. ARs, no, limit, I, limitless rounds. What's that? <laughs> Couple ARs, limitless rounds. I'd be airing it out. Yeah. <laughs> no, I would. Yeah. <laughs> Just I, out the window. I, I wouldn't try to kill anybody like that. But like, mm. you know. What of I'm course, saying? not. We're referring to a video game, guys. Yeah. Like, it's not real life. You ever watch a town? I never watched a t- town. T- t- tell me. Tell me. I'm sorry, not to cut you off. Tell me you never envisioned yourself being on a police chase and how you would get away, oh, though. Yeah. I think everybody has. When you're watching them on TikTok yeah, and shit, dude, I'm, like, like, I'm always like, ooh, I would have cut that right. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm like, ooh, it, like, why are you slowing down, bro? It sucks because they're criminals, but when they get caught, I'm kind of a little upset. Yeah. I'm kind of a little upset that they got yeah. caught. I kind of want to see them get away. 
You know, I no, mean, especially like, when, especially when it's like a flawless lump run. Like they're, yeah. no, they're not hurting people. They're not just crashing and being a menace. Like when they're like like in a nice car and actually doing like a flawless run. Like you know, not making a mess of the streets. That's <laughs> that's where you really want them to win. Love You're like, please loop. get away. From, get away. Yeah. Yeah, that's this is intense. I'd I'd be on a dirt bike and just go off road, hit the levees. Oh, dude, over here would be a lot easier. Yeah. Because there's so many places to get away. But, like, when you get on the interstate. You know you're screwed when the helicopter comes on top and he's, like, following you. You're like, Fact. where do I go? The helicopter's <laughs> OP. It takes away the fun. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like you're at five stars on GTA. Yeah. They don't have to worry about, like, cutting through traffic. They just be cutting out, like, yeah. cheating. It's not fair. Man, you're screwed if there's a helicopter. Like, you'd have to be on a bike or, like, you just have to be, like, an absolute pro. <laughs> because, like, dude, you start to run out of gas, too. I saw, like, a Hellcat one. But this guy was in a Hellcat, like way back. I saw that it was like a white Hellcat, maybe. I don't really remember, but um, it was like you know, in Louisiana, where it was just open highways. Like, there's nowhere to go, man. Yeah. Like, there's nowhere to run. Like in a Hellcat, can I run a hel- yeah? Can I run a helicopter? Yeah, no, exactly. But um, pee break. Yeah, I got a piss. Okay, so I think oh. we all got a piss. Oh shit, that you, that was, you're shaking your leg. No, I've been shaking since the beginning. I was just a little chilly. All right, one though. second, Ant, and we are back. So, pretty cool trip. Colin wish you could have been there, but we went to Power Slap and UFC. Dude, that would have been so fun. We did. So that fun. was sick, dude. Yeah. Did yeah. y'all talk about that yet? No, but we talked about going to it, but our last pod, I believe, was with Dan. And that's when, that was right before Power Slap Absolutely. and UFC. That's Let's right. go that's see you. Right. Right. So I don't, we, we knocked out three pods in that trip, sort of. I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. Three great guests as yeah. well. Awesome guests. Um, Max Tuning, Christian Guzman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, by the time it comes out, they'll, they, 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 they already would seen have it. seen yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But, so. yeah, it's funny because we did a go CEO, hopped on the pod with us. Shout out Dan. Yeah, shout out Dan for his time, man. Yeah. He's a homie, man. For real. And, um, I, I mean, I think conversation went good, but he brought us to dinner after. And we were talking about Power Slap and how we were going to Power Slap. And then he was basically like, I think I mentioned UFC. I might have mentioned it, or he mentioned it. And he was like, well, what are y'all doing? Y'all have plans? He was like, no. He's like, okay, y'all going. Simple That's as like that. my dream. Bro. Yeah. Y'all had hella good seats, too. Good yeah, seats. Probably like, Definitely. you know, six yeah. rows or something up from like, it's crazy. as soon as the like the actual the stand floor starts. Seats. Yeah, there's yeah. floor seats, which again, I always talk about this off camera, but like floor seats are kind of ass unless you're tall. Exactly. Or if you're yeah. in like the first row or two. Because yeah. other than that, if you're in the back and you can see it from where we're standing, like where we're seated, like, dude, I'm five foot eight, five foot nine, bro. Yeah. Like I wouldn't be able to see over someone if someone's like six foot tall standing over me. I would have this break my neck and look at I was at watching it at my buddy's screen. house and I saw his snap store and I'm like, dude, those are like perfect. Yeah. Those seats are awesome. They're, They're awesome. really good. And then you yeah. walk up, and then we had the Ghost Lounge. Yeah, Ghost has their own lounge in the T-Mobile Arena. So up there is like all sponsored by Ghost. Like everything's labeled Ghost, and even the drinks that they would mix, they mix it with Ghost. Yeah, so set of ribs. I could be like, uh, I want an OG, and they'd get the white, the white Ghost can and mix it like. A, I never had the white like. Goat. What would be like it's a Red not, Bull vodka? It was just yeah. a better version. It's, it's yeah. not a retail, so it's like makes you feel special. Yeah, it's true. Sick, but dude, it. everything was. It was a great, great freaking weekend, man. Yeah. Great, no, great week. So we went to Houston for three days with Ghost. Uh, yep. Did some content with them. That's oh, always shoot. good. Always a good time. And then we shot out straight from Houston and went to Vegas. Uh, like I said, we almost had, missed our flight. Almost missed. Dude, that was like, the closest I've ever been. Downpouring, <laughs> rush hour. We told the Uber what time our flight was. He was like, on it. Yeah. <laughs> dude was gunning it. That yeah. was after y'all got in the wreck with the Uber. Yeah, that, oh yeah, so we got in a freaking wreck. It, you know, it's funny because we talked about like getting recognized and stuff. We got in that wreck with the Uber, and it just this happened. This is not the Uber to, to the airport, by the way. This yeah, is the yeah. day before we were leaving for Vegas. Yeah. Just to we're give going to dinner background. with the ghost crew, with the, with the ghost team. And we got in the wreck right when you turn into like the strip mall, right? It's a restaurant. It's a bunch of different shops. 24-hour fitness or something. Yeah, like, it was, right there. I think it was called like Connection Fitness, something like that. Yeah. So it's a gym. Anyway, we go, we turn in. I'm on my phone, so I didn't really see nothing. Boom, get smashed from the side. T-boned. Nice. Yep. And then, <laughs> dude, it's hilarious. So this guy gets out. He is freaking out. My mom's going to kill me. My, my mom's, mom's going to kill me. Yeah. Oh my God. It was a kid? It was a yeah, kid. Yeah, it was a kid. Oh, shit. He was very young. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, 
I mean, yeah, dude, he didn't have his license. Okay. Yeah. What? Yeah. He didn't have a license. <laughs> have yo, license. And he was trying to get out of it. I was, was like, wild. Oh, I'm get in trouble. I'm like, I, oh, if you don't have a license, man, I'm like, you're screwed off the bat. You know yeah. I, yeah. Will, I will talk about this because I thought we were in a simulation for a little bit because I was like, none of this is like, are we, are we on TV right now? Does this, this make sense? Yeah. Like, we get smashed, right? This dude's freaking out. And then his buddy gets out of the back seat. Yep. All the airbags went off, by the way. Yep. In that, your car? That, no, no, not ours. The other car. Oh. Dude, the car we were in was like a suburban. It was like a tank. It just really? budged to the left a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It was, like, and it was yeah. like, oh, I didn't even know what hit me. I had my seatbelt on, so I didn't I, even budge. Yeah. I truly thought that like the Uber slammed the shit out of his brakes. So we get smashed. We get out. The dude's freaking out. My mom's going to kill me. My mom's going to kill me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then his buddy gets out the back. They just went to Whataburger. There was yep. a Whataburger right there. He gets nice. out. He goes, damn it. Got honey mustard on my pants. Yup. Yep. <laughs> he was just mad. He was just mad that he got like honey mustard on his pants. Yeah. Literally just. And then this bro's about to go to jail. Out, my mom's gonna kill me. My mom's gonna kill me. And the, the, the nonchalant guy was like, "Yeah, your mom do be tripping for real." <laughs> <laughs> no, that's like accurate, bro. That's exactly how it went down. And, and then, in the, I swear, I swear on everything. In the middle of him freaking out, he's going, "Oh my god, please, please don't call the cops. Please don't call the cops." I've seen your videos. <laughs> Please don't call the cops. Yes. Please don't. He, yes. Stopped, he stopped freaking out. He stopped having a panic attack for five seconds to say, hey, so I, wait, know, I you know, know you guys. I know you guys. And he's like, oh, I'm still going to die. And I'm like, no, oh, dude, like, you should just be happy you're okay. Yeah. All those airbags deployed. Your boy's good. Your friend's in the car. Like, like honey mustard I'm, on the pants. Yeah. You think I'm in trouble? He's like, Luke was like, yeah, you fucked. Yeah, I told him straight up. I told him straight up. I'm like, dude, the stop sign's here. The car is here. I'm like, you just smacked the Suburban. Yeah. I'm like, there's no way you just accelerated into it. No license. You didn't license. Fully stop. There's no shot. And yeah. then he's telling me he has, his dri- he has a permit. I'm like, well. Why are you driving? Yeah. yeah. And then on top of that, he had no reason to leave Whataburger. His boy was still there. He pulls up later with like, his food. He's like, why did you, you guys leave me? <laughs> I'm like, so you it, guys left for nothing. It almost felt like he was faking his reaction. Because I was like, well, why was your boy at, still at Whataburger? He was like, oh, he was macking on a girl. Like in a serious tone. I was like, why y'all leave them? Yeah. It's like, huh? Because yeah, they're excited. They're young. I, they wanted to whip their mom's car type yeah, shit. 15 and it's like, old. oh. I felt like they left their boy at Whataburger as a joke. And they were just like gunning it, taking off, like trying to mess with him. And then they just ran through a stop sign and Damn. smashed us. Sure. But to get to my point, about it, like that. it was right outside of a gym. And by the time the cops showed up, because we had to stay for the the damn cops to get there which took, took like forever minutes at least. and we have a reservation like we're supposed to go eat with the ghost team yep. anyway these like it was like 20 kids scattered around and they like as the cops showed up we're just taking pictures with uh kids nice it was just it was just <laughs> yeah interesting it was an interesting it was walk. weird bro it was weird everything like, about it i was like this doesn't feel real nah yeah it was a really weird situation it is honestly. bound to happen because every time i'm in an uber dude they whip that thing mm-hmm. i'll always think i'm like no out of all the Ubers we've ridden in, I'm like, no way this one's not going to get in a wreck. Yeah. Like, Houston? Dude, he's going like 90 and a 55, whipping it. Well, like, this thing, we're about to get in a wreck. Never have. Yeah. No, we were, in, we were in Vegas, bro. We took a we took a Tesla to the UFC event. Dude. And this dude was just kept launching dude, it. Tesla's you know, are like fucked. We took one in Salt Lake City. This dude was like, get out of the way. What, what did he got it. Yeah. Dude, he got some ghetto. Yeah, what? what did he remind you Yo, of? What? Him? I don't know. Oh, was, um, don't mess with the Zohan. Yep. <laughs> you were messing me. Uh, yeah, what Adam Sandler played. Mm-hmm. That was him as an Uber driver. He, he was he was just messing with everybody, and then he was he ran red lights. Yeah. It was like, dude, we're only five minutes away. You don't have to speed. Dude is gunning it. Yes. I was like, oh. My and in a Tesla, it's just like a rocket. Yeah. No noise, and you just like feel the you just feel the torque. No, I got some get up. Yeah, it, it was sure. fun in a sense because we didn't get hit, <laughs> you know, yeah. but. Uber drivers are reckless, though. Yeah, Dude. this guy that was this guy was moving. The guy we got in the accident with, he was driving chill. I thought like, he was in a big. He was. He was yeah, like yeah. an Uber black, right? Hey, it wasn't his fault, so he did not nothing wrong. He was, a, he was a chill guy. I actually, felt bad. Yeah. Because like he didn't really speak much English and like. The kid really wanted to be out of the fault. And then at the end of the day, I'm like, dude, you're screwed anyway, man. You don't have a license. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, dude, what do you around want me to do? Permit. He was hoping I would like come up with a fake story to like protect him. And I'm like, bro, I'm like kind of an adult. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I kind of have to be responsible right now. Like, you just kind of hit me. Like, you hit my side of the car too. So, whatever. But 
But a power, power slap is the same. Yeah, I mean, Go back yeah. to what we were originally going to talk about. Yeah, power yeah. slap, UFC. We were in a VIP for power slap. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I think it was called VIP. But anyway, we were with all the other creators, stuff like that. So we just got to meet a shit ton of people. So fun. That was honestly so crazy. It was great for connections. Met some really cool people. Because me personally, I grew up like being a YouTube kid. Yeah. Um, Like late teens, early 20s, just like watching YouTubers, you know? So to get to see them in real life and get to yeah. meet them, you know, it's definitely super cool still. Like, Got a bunch of people vlogging. Some people were vlogging. They had live um, streamers there. Live streaming. Was, seeing IRL live streamers for the first time was definitely super cool because when we're in line, we're standing behind Nate Hill, which is like a pro or a, used to be a pro Fortnite player. He used to play competitively. And then in front of him was this guy that was an IRL, like um, IRL streaming. I never heard of him before. Apparently super popular. Um, he's, you know, just talking to the camera in real time. He has a, he's a full on rig. Like he's, he, the dude has like a DSLR, like a big mm-hmm. camera live streaming him battery pack on his hip backpack in the back. And I'm like, how do you have Wi-Fi, bro? <laughs> he's like, yo, these are connected to satellites. Nice. I'm like, bro. I'm like, makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense because there's no Wi-Fi in Vegas. Um, but now that was super cool to actually see in person. Like someone, because he kept looking at his phone cause he's like checking chat. I'm like, dude, this is what the world's come to. Oh, yeah. You know? That was badass. It's like, it's crazy. So we walk into the event. Super cool uh, person walks us to our seats. No one really sat in their seats in the VIP section. Yeah. Everyone's kind of just standing, socializing, turning to turning to the right a little bit to see, like, someone slap the shit out of someone. I saw some knockouts? We did. I believe so. Yeah, they had a couple. There was a couple. There was definitely um, some knockdowns. Uh, about so how does that work? Or, like, you they, get... I, I wasn't familiar with it, but they do rounds. Yeah. How they many seconds rounds. you get, like, on the ground before you could slap the next person if you it, get it, knocked down? It's, like, it's kind of structured like UFC. So, like, I think if, like, you eat the shit out of a slap and, like, your person, like, you know, flinches, maybe drops their little baton they're holding on to, takes a knee, they get marked down. So, like, if you ate that shit, you might get a 10 and your opponent might get a 7 for the round. Oh, so, so like, it's, like, points like you yeah, I didn't know it was point system like that. I, yeah, I'm... I'm Believe so. That's what I was watching. Yeah, I believe so. But it, I, I thought they go until they, somebody quits or somebody gets knocked out. It's just like three rounds. Damn. Which, in that case, I was, I was like talking to one of the power slap people. And I was like, I would do this. And I don't know if it was just me talking shit. But if you yeah, think, think about it, like it everybody's shit. like, dude, this is stupid shit in the world. You're asking for CTE, all this. Dude, nobody says that when it comes to UFC. You're yeah. taking 70 punches to the dome it's way different though because you have the chance to protect yourself yeah is you there do? weak classes because yeah. if you're better slap? than everybody you're not going to get hit in the head that many times you yeah, know but at the same time it's not a you're not getting punched in the face you're getting slapped no don't get me wrong because but i see a lot of the slow-mos and they get hit like up here a lot dude their face which, are like lopsided yeah no you it's a it's a free shot so you're gonna get the you're gonna get yeah they have weight you know, classes in you're power gonna slap? get hurt. Yes, but yes. they do. Okay. Yes. Luckily. Yeah, they There's have weight class. Yeah. No, I wouldn't yeah. go up to like the two hundred pound Dude, Russians. I dead ass. Goes up to Eddie Hall. Last thing, like one of those slaps, completely just prone, not protecting yourself, not guarded up. Only thing you do is like you know anticipate it. One of those slaps from like a super heavyweight to like a normal person could yeah. probably kill him. Yeah. Or cause like serious brain damage to the point where like no recovery. Dude, just anticipate. Yeah, I've it. seen the way they slap, bro. I've seen how big some of these motherfuckers are, bro. It's, it's, pretty, not it's a dangerous sport, bro. Because you're not protecting yourself and you're not able. They don't really allow you to like eat the hit either. You're not allowed to like swing your. Like, yeah, you gotta you take flinch. it. You gotta take you gotta it. Take full it. force. You can't flinch. You can't flinch. I'm taking a right hook from Mike Tyson. So I mean. You gotta be ballsy, Scary. cause yeah. we. So, fast forward, right? It's fast forward, power slap. We're the um, we're gambling, right? We're not actually, we're not, we're not gambling. We're not hands on, but we're at the after party mm-hmm. or the what do you call that? The high rollers room. High rollers room. Yeah, and we're at the bar, right? We're waiting for a drink. We never got a drink. <laughs> um, we saw one of the competitors. He had the belt, remember? Yeah. And his face was just like swollen. Black and purple. That was the main event. That yeah. was the main event guy, yeah. Uh, or the second. The well, second. either way, he had the belt. And I just saw his face, man. And it was... Brutal. It was brutal. Like, just one side of his face, though. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And I was like, ugh. He man. won, though. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Like, at what cost? Yeah, at what cost? <laughs> you know? Like, can he hear out of that ear anymore? Probably I don't know. not. I don't know. Cauliflower ear. 
But, uh, yeah. yeah, Power Slap was wrecked. sick. It yeah. was a fun event, though. Nonetheless, great experience. Everything was great. Mm-hmm. Um, Any highlight? Like, anyone you saw there that you were very, like, whoa. Starstruck? Like Starstruck? Yeah. You personally? I don't. I don't think. I don't think I get like that anymore. I don't really get like how, that either. Like how long have we been doing it? I just feel like it's like, oh shit, they're here. It's not yeah. like, oh my god, I gotta go talk to them. I gotta get a. I gotta get a picture with them. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, if I see somebody I like, I'll go talk to them. But it's not like, you know, I'm not gonna be on no fanboy type shit. Yeah. yeah Which yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just because we've met so I'm many people that it's like. Is, I think. That. It's like I'm bound to run into some of these people eventually. So when I see them, it's like, wow, that's really cool that they're here. Like, so, so, like, yeah. for instance, Steve will do it. Like, I've watched him for years. Yeah. I've seen him there. I was like, Since oh, shit. School. So actually, that was like one person I was like, took a picture from. Like, I took a picture of from before. I was like, eh, I'm going to send this to my buddies. That's pretty damn cool. That is yeah. cool. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll no, fuck Steve's, with Steve. will do it. Steve's a beast. So you got arrested? Did he? Is that really him? I thought it was just somebody that looked like him. No, he, it was he a actually mugshot himself? of him with like a mustache. fake mustache. Oh yeah, yeah. He posted on his stories like Steve will do it. Was arrested tonight. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> no, but I thought it was a joke because the dude ended up looking like Steve. I don't a different know. name on the mugshot, <laughs> yeah, and I, I think know. he really just had a very. I could be wrong, dude. I, I could know. be tweaking. I just saw the post, and yeah, that's yeah. why I was asking. No, I saw it too. All the no exactly boys were there. Like, we talked. Uh, uh, well, we saw him in Florida, or everyone yeah, except Steve. Yeah, we said. Uh, but this time we talked uh, to Steiny Salim. and Salim. Steiny and Salim. Yeah. Salim seems cool. Stein, how's Steiny? Uh, they, they party. They're, they party? Uh, I, will, they party. I will say this, though. They're exactly what you see on the internet. They don't yeah. fake nothing. Like, Real. When we've pulled up on them in person, I guess. Like, yeah. they're kind of the same people. The like, same attitude, same humor, same tone of voice, same, you know, like, <laughs> Steiny's no different than I would imagine. That sucks. Uh, Salim's no different than I would imagine. No, they're cool. They're chill. <laughs> um, I mean... It is what it is. Like, yeah. chill. They're cool. Yeah, Out fun. of all the people the y'all have met, who's like the fakest? The well, fake. I don't want to ask that. Oh, I don't care. Um, like who? Who? Who's complete opposite? Like a complete douchebag when, like, meeting in real life. I don't think I, didn't, I don't think I've met anyone. I don't think you I know, went and talked to anybody. I, th- I think I'm still waiting on that to happen. Yeah. Because honestly, every interaction was pretty good. Yeah. At least the people I went up to. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. Um. It's kind of I, was hard to fake. To meet, I was excited to meet Nick Merckx, and really? he was a great interaction. Really? Yeah, great interaction. And I was, like, really, like, um, I don't know. I was, like, happy about that. I was, yeah. like, cool. Like, someone I actually really wanted to meet, say what's up to, and then, like, you know, not actually just trying to rush a combo and be, like, yo, I'm good, bro. Yo, nice to meet you. Yeah. Dip. You know, like, he actually was chatting for a little bit, and it was super cool. Did he Very know nice. you? He well, ever, he, he no, seen he didn't before? Me. No. He never seen me, but that's cool. And that was just dope because I've yeah. always watched Nick Merckx, Call of Duty, Fortnite when he used to play Fortnite. I thought he was always a dope dude. It's badass. Yeah, that was fun for me. But fast forward past that, um, UFC. UFC was electric. Man. How was Alex that? Pereira? Alex Pereira knocking down Prochetsky. It was sick. Jerry. It was sick. Dude. We we don't have no like crazy stories about it. It was just like we really enjoyed that night because I mean we didn't have like no itinerary for that day. It was just like. All right, we're going to the UFC we fight tonight. Never so before like be going the either. UFC fight, how long ago did y'all find out like y'all were actually going? Like, what time frame? Dude, we like, found out Thursday 20... night. Oh okay. And we went Saturday. Nice. Dude. Well, you didn't find out for sure until Friday. Yeah, nice. I was gonna say it was like it was like we found out the day right like the night before. Mm-hmm. He, he sent us our tickets. Yeah, for, like, Friday. That's crazy. He's like download this app. Those tickets yeah, probably go for like two thousand dollars. You think? Oh yeah. Yeah. Big fight like that. Shit. That was supposed to be the McGregor Chandler fight. Well, I don't think we would have pulled that off. I think that's off. why we were able yeah. to get tickets. I think yeah. if McGregor was still there, it would have been a lot tougher. Yeah. yeah. I'm, well, I'm sure. Because it would have been sold out. Like, no one would have. There was no shot. I'm like, a big Pereira fan. I would have loved to go see that. We were watching that at my boy's house, at Hayden's house. Yeah. And that was a hell of a fight. Oh, yeah. I lost a lot. I didn't lose money, but. You bet on that, dude? I bet a 10 leg parlay. He <laughs> uh, <laughs> got a 9 out of 10. $10 to win 5500 and I lost one oh, of the legs. Oh, shit. 10 lost, bucks to I win. lost one leg out of the 10-leg parlay. I went 9 for 10. Damn. No Thanks, wonder Cub gambling. Swanson. No wonder gambling just gets, like, so... Yeah. Yeah, dude. It makes it, it, makes it like, entertaining to watch. Like, even football, like, yeah. like, you want to be involved in it and see, like, down to the last wire. I've never been big into the whole sport gambling thing, really, and, and gambling in general. Yeah. 
Um, mm-hmm. Luckily, honestly, I'm not mad about that. But that was the first time a sports bet since college football last year. I was like, let me just throw a hundred dollars. So what? In what? There. What? Which fight lost for you? Cub Swanson went into decision. That's shitty. Yeah, mm. he should have won. I you thought he so won too. the fight. Robbery. Of course you do. It was a robbery. That sucks, dude. No, but it was $10 to win 5500 And that was the one fight I lost. Yeah, there's no... There's, uh, Dude, I didn't even know half the fighters. I was just picking yeah. favorite, underdog, that ass? underdog favorite. Yeah. It's, 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 I'm not, I don't know. I'm not a huge gambler as well. Like, sports betting, when you say, like, NFL season, like, you know, I probably, when I'm watching the Saints, I want the Saints to win, so I'll throw money on the other team. That way I end up happy regardless. It's smart. Eight or one money, or my team wins. <laughs> or your team wins. But speaking shit. of Saints, y'all saw Cam and like, Jordan. Most of the time, you guys going to lose. Yeah, we so. seen Cameron Jordan. That was sick. I, cool. I, didn't, I didn't say anything. I don't know. Saints defensive end? I don't know. It's just sometimes, I'm, I don't know. I guess I'm too shy to say anything. But I was like, I should have. He was just, I'm never going to interrupt. Like, when I see, I seen him, he was always in conversation. I'm never yeah. going to interrupt the conversation. Yeah. But, yeah. um, it, no, about gambling, though. We stayed at the MGM, big casino place. We didn't Vegas. spend a lick. We I found twenty five dollars in the pool. I accidentally stepped on twenty five dollars, which is weird. And I was like, "Hey, we're just gonna get throw some roulette and see how much we could double it." Yeah. And then and, and, we, we what we got uh, to. And by this guy saying, we didn't spend a lick. He just meant on gambling, bro. Oh, Vegas is expensive, Dude, yeah, bro. Bottle is. of water, so seven expensive. bucks. Bottle of water, seven. Yo, you want to you want to get like two drinks worth 30. forty? <laughs> Jesus like Christ. forty. Something oh yeah, like you were that. saying that like a drink was like twenty bucks. Yeah, like a vodka water. Minimum. 29. Minimum. Twenty nine. Yeah, 29, you said thirty. Like, yeah. So like, it's I think at the, at the high rollers room, that was like one of the cheapest drinks. It was like nineteen ninety five, if I remember. Yeah, so, we'd be so. getting vodka waters and be like, oh, twenty bucks, not bad. And it's not like the Louisiana shot. Like they'll right. measure out a shot. So I went on that trip. Um, I went on that tr- the trip that we just went on. That you you uh you came meet me out there. Yeah. And at that bar, I was like. I'll buy drinks for the whole fucking bar right now. That's how cheap I felt. That's how cheap it felt. Yes. Go, coming from Vegas. Coming from Vegas. Yeah. I had the same yeah, it was $5, thought process $5 in Jersey, for a regular bro. drink. $5. $10 for two drinks. It's insane. I was, I was like, dude, I was just spending $30 a pop. I should buy six right now. Yeah. <laughs> Rounds for the bar. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. I had the same. It messes you up because you go back to like normal prices, yeah. which are still inflated. But like, and you see it as nothing. You know, yeah, I, I, you know, I was at the bar last weekend for Fourth of July with uh, some of my friends, and same thing, like yeah. less sub ten dollars for a drink, and I'm like, it's crazy. And then bakers, they probably actually pour the drink out into a shot glass, you know, measure yeah, it. Yeah. Speaking of drinking, um, we're not the biggest drinkers ever, but we do dabble in it because um, we're just typical gym bros. We talk about that all the time. So I we, mean, we don't swear off alcohol, but at the same time, everything, everything in moderation. Okay. Yeah. Special so, occasion. Yeah, you won't. Yeah, you won't catch us drinking like twenty four seven. Casually on a Tuesday. But I will say this. Or no, I wanted to bring up this topic. Do you have a you have a funny or maybe a crazy drunk story? Drunk story. I mean, other than like getting in little pity fights, not really. I don't have any like hilarious thing. I mean, we went to <laughs> me Brody and one of our other friends went to our high school reunion. And we went to the bars after, and all three of us threw up at the same time in <laughs> unison onto a water meter, and they were yeah. in the, they were in the just dumpster. Like, yeah. Like, we just, it was all you could drink at the high school reunion, and we went what? to the bars after. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. It's like high uh-huh. school? Yeah, high school reunion. It was, open it was our five school, five year reunion. Oh, it was a reunion? Yeah, yes. reunion. Oh, you went to your high school reunion? Yeah, five yeah. year. Dude, it was like. 50 bucks, all you could drink. I got my money's worth. Are you, of, course, are you, of course say yes to that, but I'm yeah. just being like... Are you too cool for your high school reunion? No, it's just way different from where I'm from, man. <laughs> like, it, it, in a sense, no, I'm not. would never say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I don't want to go back to my high school reunion. No. There's a bunch of shady-ass fucking friends. Sh- like, that's fucking that's ev- true. It's way different in Jersey. Jersey's always... Uh, Jersey's a power trip, bro. Everyone wanted to be the coolest person. Everyone wanted to throw the sickest party. It was all yeah. about that. Yeah, and um, I can give a shit less. I've never got like to the point though drinking where I was like I don't remember the night before. Yeah. I've never been like that. Nothing too crazy. Just a, f- a funny story that popped in my head. Uh, you know him. You don't. He's one of my friends. Um, we, we were really close in high school, and he, I think we just took 
I think we took alcohol from his like mom or mom's li- liquor cabinet, something like that. It used to be exhilarating. Yeah, you know. And so Heart Wednesday, pumping. yeah, Wednesday at his cousin's house. I was talking to his cousin. Okay, I remember that. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> and so she had a friend there, and so he was kind of talking to her, not really. Anyway, so she has a living room, right? I was in the bedroom with her. We did nothing. Okay, okay. I was in the bedroom. Just talking. Uh, <laughs> oh, talking. And no, so, I'm kidding. In kidding. The middle of the night, we were drinking. Blam. So in, and bleed that. in the middle of the night, I heard a big bang. I, I was like, <laughs> she was like, what was that? I was like, uh, it's probably blah 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 doing whatever. Let me go check it out. I go walk to the, I go walk to the living room. He's in the backyard just slinging shit. So <laughs> in, in the back of their, in their backyard, they have a canal running, right? So like Louisiana over here, uh-huh, we have like a lot creek. of canals in the backyard. Almost drainage, creek. It's, drainage. It's, it's a canal. It's, it's like, like a drainage ditch. Sure. If you think about a creek, more it's pressure. A creek. Okay, like so, a, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, it's a Small canal, body of water. but it yeah, is yeah. flowing water, right? He's just throwing shit. He, I was like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah. He goes, damn, bro, I, do, I knocked over the coffee table and I just gotta get rid of the evidence. <laughs> he was throwing <laughs> picture frames and like glass that he broke. Off the coffee table, just slinging into the canal. Oh, he's trying to get it away. He's trying to get off. He's like, bro, help me out. Throw this. I was like, oh, no. Family mementos. Family mementos. Oh, yeah. Just family portraits and shit just slinging it. He's like, I gotta get rid of it. I broke everything. <laughs> All of them. The photos Dude, are probably I was still dying. Attacked. I was just like, okay, I'm gonna go back inside. It, you know, fun fact, after that, we left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me get out I know here. exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. I've uh, heard the story multiple funny. times. <laughs> yeah, it was, That's, it was him. funny. I, and that was all him, but I was like, what a fucking idiot. But yeah, your, I wish I, I, I'm trying to think. Like, it's hard to think of one on the spot, especially of, a, of like a muffled memory because yeah. you were drinking. Yeah. Like a funny drinking story, man. Shit. I don't know. You'd have to f- come back to me on that one. <laughs> like a good one? Like, it's not really like funny stories I think of. It's just like adventures <laughs> we go on and. Uh, okay, this is, this is, I like telling this story, but you would only get it if you lived where I live because it's not that good of a story, but I'll tell it anyway. Tell it. So if you live in Jersey, you'll know Seaside, Seaside Heights, mm-hmm. famous beach. That's where Jersey Shore was filmed. And then Seaside Heights, there's also Seaside Park, which is like slightly south of it. But like a two mile, like a two, three mile distance, and there's a lot of like smaller beach houses. So we're staying at a friend's house. This is probably like five, like six, seven, eight years ago now. It's crazy how I can say that casually. Yeah. You know, like, but either way, that's still what in it the twenties. Yeah, like early, early twenties, and we're all at the house. We're all turning up, you know, all day. Went to the beach. This is later at night at this point, right? And you know, I'm still lifting at the time. I'm still like a meathead, and I'm like, yeah. I'm hungry, yo. You guys want to get steaks? And steaks unlimited is like this famous uh, cheesesteak. Uh, spot at the end of the boardwalk and it's banging it's banging i haven't had it i haven't had it this year i, I don't think i had it last year i gotta go back this year to get it you have to come see it if you come. Take us. yeah if you come too, like dude steaks unlimited bro you Love will especially steak. post bar food yeah. bro and it's like freshly cooked in front of you nonetheless and we're at seaside parks so we're not seaside so we had to like i was like oh does anyone want to go with me like i'm gonna take an uber or like go to get food because no one else is hungry i guess like weirdos. Like how you've been drinking all day and you're not hungry. Oh, I need you know what I mean? Like it's at nighttime. So no one wanted to come with me. And I'm like, screw it. I'm going to Uber myself. Called an Uber. Got picked up. Like I said, two mile drive to Seaside Boardwalk. And it's at the end of the boardwalk. I go eat my steaks. I get a chicken cheesesteak and a normal cheesesteak. Nice. Eat them both. House them down. Phone dies. <laughs> yeah. And I'm Can't like pretty drunk. You know? And I got no one to call. I don't know anyone there. No Uber. Yeah. I'm like, shit. As soon as my phone died, I just go, all right, let's just start walking. Let's just start walking. Damn. I walked all the way back. Like, a it, it, it's a nice walk. Don't get me wrong. There's no real punchline to this story, but it was a crazy adventure, at least for me. Yeah. And when drinking, it's just kind of like, you know, you look at the phone, it's dead. Obviously, I could have found someone with a charger maybe, but at that point, I was just like, no, let me not just waste time. Yeah. I'm like incoherent. Let me just start walking in the right direction. 
I end up pulling him back, seeing my boy, like seeing the boys that were at the house. Like, yo, where'd you go? Like, where have you been? I'm like, what was that <laughs> steaks, man? Later. I'm like, I was at Steaks Unlimited. Just walked back. And they're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it was like a moment like that. They're like, what? You walked back? I'm like, yup. That's like <laughs> so I didn't want to. Wa- I didn't want to waste any time just like trying to figure out how to get back. Yeah. Instead, I was just like, let me just start my journey. That's the yeah. best time though, when like something unexpected happens. That makes yep. the best stories. Yeah, it wasn't a crazy story, but yeah. to me, it was just like, wow, it's a far walk. That sucks. And it was like two, three a.m. It Damn. wasn't like early. Yeah, no, no, no. It was probably like, you know, the place that never closes was about to close, and I got food. And I was ready to go back and just didn't work out. But instead of just sitting there, just like staring at my phone, I was like, let me just leave. Let me, let me just start. But that's it. Nothing crazy. It was a fun story for me, though. You could talk, dude. Sick. I know, yeah, not a good story. Sick bro. story. I know. It's not that fucking good, man. I just said, like, for me, it was a core memory because, like, the food was banging and I got to, like, walk back and it was. Oh, brother. Like, this guy. No, just no messing. music either. Just, I couldn't oh, just play sorry, music. I couldn't just, even, you you raw couldn't dog even play music on this. Raw dog there was no music to the, like, the walking vibe. English you know? or Spanish. It's a hitchhiker vibe. Baby, you got something. Nah, dude. Yeah, you, right. Okay, there we go. That's easy enough for me. I'm Question. Good. If you got a million dollars today, what would you do with it? Did we answer that? Nope. No, not yet. <laughs> Probably buy a house. Yeah. Okay. What do you want me to do? Nah, it's a million it. dollars. It's not that much. Honestly, if I got a million dollars today, I would probably just put it in my bank account. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'd probably go get a house. Yeah. Not a crazy... And not like... You I wouldn't know, blow anything it. out of this world about get a nice it. house and that's it. The rest of it would go right into my bank and I'd just keep like acting gotta, the same you way. You gotta ask somebody young that. Yeah. Nardo, yeah. what would you do with a million dollars? Buy a Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> Put it all on black, get yeah. two million or zero. It's good. It's good. He could double it. Hey, we're just chilling at He's a black guy. He we're red guys. Huh? I said, he's a black guy. We're red guys. Say that again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can say it again. Yo, is that nuts though? Like you realistically could get lucky enough you to just, just keep make like yeah. stacking that million. Like you turn a million dollars into like eight million. I don't gamble, but possibly well, it's possible. <laughs> lose it all. Yeah. I remember I turned twenty one on my birthday, and all I wanted to do was put a hundred on red. He's it's talked about funny. this since he was seventeen. Thank you. I've been talking about it since I was seventeen. I said when I turn twenty one, I'm gonna put a hundred on red. Hundred was. A lot back then. I was yeah. in college. I maybe had like 300 in my bank account. Didn't have a like, job. Just played baseball. Nope, just played baseball. Studied. And so I was like, I'm going to put 100 on red. Been talking about it forever. And then weeks leading up to it, I'm like, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We go to it. I let everybody gamble. We're about to leave. I'm like, let's do it. Boom. Hits. Walk out. I'm rich. 200 bucks. <laughs> $200. Mess with me. Mess with me. Two hundred dollars. You walked out like, and you're two like, two full I'm, gas tanks. Yeah, I don't know like, if I'm gonna chill with you guys much longer. Nowadays, it's like gonna be. <laughs> nowadays, if you do that, it's like, all right, now I'm gonna put. You know, you get a hundred dollars. Like, it's like, I have two hundred dollars in the roulette machine. I'm, I'm keep going. I'm yeah, keep going. A hundred dollars nowadays is like nothing. It's like a twenty dollar bill back, back when we were ten. I was like, dude, I am balling. Yeah, I, I, I like vividly remember being in Toys R Us as a kid. And seeing a toy valued at a hundred bucks, and thinking, huh, "How am I gonna convince my parents to get me that?" <laughs> like hundred bucks, dude. Hundred bucks like back then was a lot. Was a lot, bro. It's like rich. Yeah. Yes. It's like a five dollar bill now. Now, like, dude. Now you go to Express, which is like not like a me- like a medium, yeah. Um, to like high end clothing, you know what I mean? Like it's not designer, but like it's a nicer store. It's been a hundred bucks for a yeah. shirt. For a t-shirt, for like a college shirt, yeah. nothing special. Spend a hundred um, bucks without even trying. Hundred bucks on jeans. Yeah. Yeah. No, a hundred bucks without trying is like not a joke nowadays. Like you just walk out the door, get a few things. It doesn't even easy hurt. Hundred bucks. Yeah. That to me is kind of wild because I remember when a hundred bucks was a lot of money. Yeah. I got or like a again. decent amount. I gotta piss. All right, one more break. One more break, can't. Sorry. Yeah. So, real question. When are you going to stop faking this leg injury? It's not fake. I'm almost fully healed. I'm going to be doing legs next week, and you can't keep up. I mean, it's pretty obvious when you put the, the brace on wrong, man. It's not <laughs> when, when can you, like, start doing, like, no, full course? I could put weight on it in two more months. So, mm-hmm. three months total has been six weeks today. And then uh, he said I'll be squatting heavy again maybe a year after surgery. So, another ten months. Nice. 
But guys, if you watch my videos, you've probably seen, and we get an ongoing joke right now that Colin skips legs because he's faking an injury. He actually tore his ACL. Yes. And how'd you do that again? I think we talked about it. We, we talked about it last pod, huh? Flag. I don't know. We were playing flag football and went to pick the ball off, landed, heard a pop, went down, got MRI five months oh, later. <laughs> five months later is insane. Five yeah, months later, fa- found out I had a torn ACL, got surgery. Now we're healing. Yeah. There we go. Good for you, man. I'm happy to hear Thank that. You. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Finally. Yeah. It's been so long since you hit legs. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's been half a year since I hit legs. That's... I'm, I'm so jealous. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's <laughs> so awesome, jealous. but I mean, I'm looking minuscule down Brody's there. Brody's just mad you're absent for his videos, man. He's yeah. just like, yo, dude. He's still been able to be in them. Yeah. Just with the leg brace. We just had to, like, create a joke around it. Yeah, yeah. yeah nah, nah, I can't really. I can't physically go out my way to do stuff. Yeah. Pretty stationary. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. What's the pain index on that? Man, Dude, the first tore, two weeks, when, when I though, tore it, it was initially. like a 9 out of 10 nine. for like the first five minutes. And then after that, it was like right. a steady 5. Did you cry? Walking on it. No. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't cry. Yeah, you didn't cry. You I, I wanted to cry. Colin's tough as he shit, didn't. We were like, let's bring him. Because it's, it's the football field. It's at the hospital. Yeah. We're like, well. Dude, let's bring you um, to get checked out. He's like, no, nah, I'm good. He just he sat and watched the whole next game. Yeah. I went to the music fest that night. Too. Yeah, <laughs> Are you like, dude, we walked so much. Oh, yeah. It hurt what? so bad. You yeah. walked around later that day. Oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. shit. Went to a music festival. That can't be a normal thing. Most people probably get rushed to the hospital and like get it checked on. I'd say most people. Dude, it, I mean, it hurt it's, bad. It's, it's, it's pretty. It, it's pretty. Uh, I wouldn't raw, say it's bro. an emergency, but it's definitely something you should get looked out for for sure. Yeah. I mean, I'd you hear a pop in your leg, and it hurts progressively worse as the days go on for the next five months we live on the third story i can't believe you were going upstairs and shit yeah putting all the weight on the other leg my man yeah. <laughs> nah, that's for real bro i would have been at the er man. imagine you're just like i'm gonna go to the hospital i'm like dude just be a man yeah <laughs> you're like dude seriously, just it'll, be a man. it'll go naturally so right. dude if i have to leave we're cutting the game man yeah <laughs> dude i already had two picks that game i was balling yeah. he was he was kind of balling oh, so you're out. chilling <laughs> i was balling. kind of balling oh that's good see uh, one, one thing i wanted to bring up uh kind of make it gym related we haven't talked much of gym today but that's okay we don't have to talk about the gym every time what's some phrases you would call your gym bro if you see him in the gym bro tato chip bro tato chip um protein shake Teddy Swozevelt. Damn. <laughs> I don't Teddy know many of these. Big guy. You've been thinking about these like an hour before the podcast. Bro- bro- that's something. It has bro in it. Brozilla? Mm-hmm. Okay. Like Godzilla? Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Um, Brogalicious? Big Swo. <laughs> <laughs> Big guy. Big um, Swo. Big Swo is my go to. What up, yeah. Big Swo? Swoja boy. Your go to is homie. You call what up, homie? homie. Big What's up, man. homie? Yeah, dude. I love Thank forgetting, you, homie. I love up, forgetting people's names. And oh, yeah. Then you could just think of everything you could call them. What's up, man? What's up, homie? What's up, bro? Yeah. Okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, because like, do you, you, <laughs> you ever remember anybody's name in the gym? Not like, no. not like when I go to the gym, I don't remember everyone's name by their, like, I know everyone's faces. Yeah. The names, forget about it, bro. But I'm a no- notoriously, like, Bad. bad I'm bad with names. names. And it's not a personal thing. I always say that to people. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. Like, I just don't remember your name, bro. I, re- I remind him. Like, because I know he's bad at names. So I'll be like, by the way, that's blah, blah, blah. Yeah. No, that's a real, that's a true thing. And it's not just the real people IRL. Like, it's the same issue on, like, TV series and anything like that. It takes no, me same. at least the season to, yeah. like, memorize everyone's name. Otherwise, I just know that person. Yeah. If they're, they're not a reoccurring for. character, I'm, not, yeah, I'm never no, going to know your name. Stuff, I don't know. <laughs> it's tough for me. A recurring character. That's funny. <laughs> Stuff for me, but um, yeah. bro, dude, homie, that's the, that's the go tos. Brody, Brody, what up, my Brody? Yeah, it's not. I've never it, said it, that. It's funny because people ask if that's my real name. Yeah, I know. It's this doesn't it's sound the, like a real name. It's on the birth certificate. It, it is. is. It's crazy. It's crazy I that hope. you were named Brody and rappers started using the term Brody with an IE. Yeah, they did years that later. Because of me, they were like, not dude, true. Brody's. So chill. That's Actually, such a sick he's, name. he's such a chill guy that any chill guy we come across, we just go call him the Brody. Yeah. That's literally how it was created. That's not true. Yeah, little baby talks about me all the time. <laughs> My Brody. You guys are boys yeah. like that. He owes me so much royalty. Yeah. <laughs> she go ahead and get Dude, that. Dude, little baby kind of fell off. Whoa. I haven't seen shit from him in a while. 
He did though. I mean, he kind of even said it on his last like freestyle when he did it to uh, like that. Yeah. He's like, you used to get three hundred thousand for a video, whatever. That's the, fuck, the baby. Man. Oh, you said little baby. Little baby. Oh, well, he the baby also fell off. Yeah. Oh, the baby fell off. Yeah. Three hundred k, but I'm shaking back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Remember the baby? Was that the baby song that we listened to? That beach trip we went to, the whole beach trip. Uh Sure. Second of mill, I'm gone. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. And it was also uh, little baby. It was that I mean, song. It was probably the year so before babies, for man. me. I know. Yellow Ferrari like Pikachu. Yeah, that's that Yachty. was little baby. Huh? Well, we listened. Oh, Yachty. To... Nope, that's little baby. You we'll just listen... be saying shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we man, listened to the baby song. Like that. <laughs> and Brody and his roommate song that we showed last video, last podcast. Yeah, we're just playing that. That was a go-to. Dude, that that was a fun trip. It was. Yeah, Would you say y'all a favorite music genre is rap? Or uh, I don't have a, I don't I know it's a very basic stereotypical question or answer, but I don't have a favorite genre. Yeah. I just like my playlist. You could ask him. I have nine hundred songs on it. Yeah. And it's just like Depends rap, on rock, yeah, country, whatever I mood I'm in. Yeah. That's I go what through I'm phases to. where I'm just listening to like Slipknot, yeah. Disturbed, and yeah. like, I listen to it a bunch, and then sometimes I'm like into the rap. I listen and to the Heartbreak music. What music? Heartbreak. Heartbreak. Then yeah. you have the like sad, some Bruno Drake Mars. Shit. Yeah. I was telling your girlfriend that. Like yeah. whenever we we work out, all like together. The sad stuff. Oh yeah. Like. The, like Hit Puts me in my feels. Get you in your feelings. I, yeah. I'm kind of the same way though. It's a, it, it, to be honest, I for the most part you'll catch me listening to rap, but I dabble in everything. Right. So yeah, I playlist most of the time. I just hit shuffle, um, but most of the time I'm in my own core. Like when I'm choosing the music, it's probably rap. Yeah. Well, now that it's summer for me, I've just been really just listening to a lot of EDM house music and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Just like doof, 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 yeah, a bunch doof, of piano doof, doof, and bass doof, and shit. Doof, doof. Yeah, that's. And then, like, sometimes I'm sick of it. You know, like, I'm over it. Especially when it hits, like, the winter time. Summer's not around. I'm, like, rap or, like, metal. It's, like, darker yeah. outside. Of, like, you're in a darker mood. And you're just, like... And it hits different. You know? It just, the seasons. Yeah. Roll, it does. Changes. It really depends on the seasons. Yeah. Even though... But anyway, guys. We talked about this on the vlog. So, you've probably seen it. Next episode. The race. The race is coming. <sighs> ah! Yeah, clammy, time. there's them clammy hands. Lose, yeah, put a, yeah, Every put time a we talk about it, he's like, mm. "Listen, I'm just gonna do it." That's Have y'all put game. a poll on Instagram yet? Who's gonna win in a race? I, don't know. Yeah, I thought you. I did. saw the fight I one. No, I had a fight. I, I, I think. Uh, fight? I think we the comments, all the comments, kind of pointing towards me. Yeah, I think he probably got the majority on. I think Lou's a sleeper. Put, I think he's a sleeper. Yeah. No, honestly. I mean, I'm definitely like if I, I definitely. In, it's definitely going to be close no matter what. I just like I don't think just it's possible to be that much faster than me, no matter who it is. Like I'm pretty fast for no reason. Honestly, so if like, you win, I might quit this podcast. <laughs> I'm like afraid to be Brody because I feel I almost feel like I'm like I don't know what's going to happen. Dude, I real shit. For Yo, real, I just like I didn't expect to beat my brother way back when. I used him as a reference because he's just been the slimmer, more athletic version of me. Yeah. And I was surprised when I beat him to be honest because I was ready to lose to him for the first time. Yeah. Because we were both like adults. And I was like, all right, he might be faster than me. You can make a whole YouTube video out of it. Yeah. Like yeah. just an like NFL combine type shit. That's it. Like a 40 yard I don't, dash. I don't want to give it away. I don't want to give it away, but that's okay. exactly what we're thinking. Okay. We're going to make it. So it's a, what a foot race. How long does that take? 30 seconds? It's going to be like a 10 minute long video. Put yeah, but way. you could do like a drills, like cones, uh, ladders, the warm ups. You know, I'm definitely going to run to warm up. Just I'm not going to do gonna a whole do. combine. Yeah, the whole that's what I'm saying. Eventually. The jump. But to, oh, yeah. But next episode, we're, we're, we're saying it. I got so, more hops than Brody, I think. Look, you hear us? We <laughs> you are you have more hops, it. too. No. No. <laughs> I'm pretty high. Man. Dude, no, you do not. <laughs> I've seen him yeah. front squat 425. Okay, look, that's, okay. Dude, you got I don't hops. look okay. like someone that can okay. run fast or jump high. I just can. It's weird, dude. I'll give you this. You got me in the 225 for reps, okay? You got me in that. Anything else? And squats. And I'm so much more yeah. athletic. Than, okay, no, we're not. We're, okay, we're talking about athletic, like a football combine. Anything in lifting, strength wise? Yeah, yeah, you got me. Besides, like calisthenics. Right. Athletic wise, <laughs> it's not even close. I don't know. I don't, you like, can definitely run routes probably better than me. You're quicker. Oh, I mean, I could do all of it. But like when it's you. a straight line, we're talking about straight horsepower. Okay, and, and that's where I think you're gonna get shook. 
when I just pull past you and you're just like, no. I want to see and you guys you're gonna 40 times. Do it, you're going to want to race again because you're just going to be like, I, uh, something was a fluke. There's just no way. Because I'm going to run, run past you with the, the shittiest form. I'm probably going to be wearing my Air Forces. I'll just tight, tighten them like super, like a lot. And then... We should do like a set rule a like barefoot on tra- like on turf. Fuck. Why? I feel like it hurt my feet. To my make feet it are even. so flat. My feet are so flat. You think shoes make that big of a shoes difference? Shoes do make a difference. If he doesn't have good running shoes, yeah, I'll go barefoot. Okay. Dude, honestly, I should get the shoes. same exact r- uh, running shoes. On your neck? In my back. No. Now just take a good look because you're going to get used to seeing that. Oh. Okay, that's cute, man. <laughs> that's that cute. That is adorable. <laughs> that's All fucking right. lame. Because but... even if you somehow come up on top and beat me, I'm gonna be right there. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing the back of your shirt. I don't think I've ever lost a race that bad where I saw someone's like rear end. It would be like they were just like right here. Yeah. Like if I'm here, they're here. Like there's not really room for me to see them. I'm so invested. And I don't really haven't. Like, I don't have a race that many people in my life, but in like a straight line, short distance, I'm really fast. So I think it's gonna be a close race, man. I think that. I definitely think I could beat Brody. I just haven't. I haven't seen to the extent how fast I beat fast people. You're gonna have to be faster than fast. You can. I'm telling you, dude. You're gonna be fucking shook, dude. You I'm, you like the boys? A train. I'm faster. <laughs> what? I'm faster. Than okay. Is A, is A- train like the Flash? Yeah. Oh. Pretty much. All right, but he's if, a speed guy. But no, no, no. But if you way, uh, good way to good way to wrap it up. Okay, but sure. The race. Next week, stay tuned. It's happening. No, I'm down. We gotta do it now. We, we gotta do it. We talking about it too we much. It. Can't keep yapping. Okay. I've been talking about it since my tomorrow. first podcast. A month I, need, ago. I need you out there. I need you out there. Gotta get holding. We need multiple angles. We doing this tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. She goes to the, uh, Ed White. We got Rock. to because you gotta hit legs, huh? And I'm not hearing that excuse. Yeah, we do it prior to the leg workout or whatever the hell we end up doing. Okay. She goes to a wellness center. Football film. Yeah, right there. Yep. But, um. <sighs> cool. Other than that, uh, I think we should wrap it up. Colin, anything else you want to say? Just thanks for watching and until next time. Yep. Um, other than this, I don't know if you've seen this. Coast. Brand new formula of the legend coming out. V4. They keep V4. upgrading, upgrading, and upgrading. And I will say, they do keep getting better. And so. And better. This one. Bigger scoops, bigger servings. This one's going to be better cost-effective, better bang for your buck. They're actually going to lower the price for this one, from what I hear. I haven't seen it on the site yet because it's unreleased, but we are allowed to showcase it now. So by the time this podcast comes out, V4 will be out. We took it today. What you thought about it? I thought it was great. It definitely exceeded my expectation. I had a great pump. I had a lot of energy. Focus was there. Devin, what Um, you thought? Solid. Got thumbs up. Thumbs up from the crowd. Hell yeah. And yeah. so compared to their um, V3, instead of 250 milligrams of caffeine, this is 300 milligrams. So Legend V4 out now, if you're listening to this. And they now have it in the orange cream flavor, which is my favorite flavor. They have it in Welch's Grape. They have it in Blue Raz. And they have it in Red Sour Patch Kids right here. They have it in mm-hmm. a couple of different flavors. I think it's yes, six sir. flavors total. But as always, you can save 20% off. I already told you it's cost effective. You can save 20% off if you use Coach Reds or Jim Bro. Whichever code you prefer. Whoever yes, you sir. like more. Yeah. Whoever wins the race, that's whose code yeah, you Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. a lot on the line. That should be what now, it is. Yeah, now we got sales on the line. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank, thank you, you guys. so much for keeping Hell up yeah. with this process. We're, you know, relatively new we're still getting started so we appreciate everything we're just shooting the shit today we're in our hometown it feels like we're at home me and colin and then we got luke here damn it just feels right feels but good other than feels that good. you want to wrap it up luke that's it guys thanks for watching that's thinking with a pump colin born ladies and gentlemen till next time and let us know who you guys want to see on next you know shoot us anyone it could be gamers fitness people mainstream whatever the hell i don't care who do you want to see on the pod we'll try to get them that's it. Cool. We out. Think it would have pump out.